Hello there, everyone. The Intrada here, and welcome back to episode 39 of our Better Minecraft Plus Let's Play series, where today we're doing some more blue skies exploration in the Everbright and, as you can see, the Everdawn dimensions. Plus, we're getting an item that we've been trying to get for many, 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 many episodes. So let's get started and check it out. So before we get started, I uh, just want to point out I have installed Optifine since last episode. Um, I want to see if it helps those lag spikes that we keep having, just those random, like, just hitch. Like, if we look at my stats, I mean, I run at anywhere between 170 to 180 FPS. I don't have it capped, so I, I guess I could throw a cap on there or maybe even V-Sync if I need to, but, like, I don't know if it's necessary. You can see our memory usage climbing. That's standard with Minecraft until the garbage collector kicks in and then it'll, uh, you know, kill it. I'm kind of watching that, though. Maybe when it gets up to, yeah, see there. Maybe for some reason it, it the garbage collector is too slow and it hits 100% and that's why we have a lag spike. That's the only thing I can think of, like, because we have enough FPS for everything. With that being said, though, I do get the uh, better zoom that is available through uh, Optifine in which it's, uh, you know, it has some acceleration to it so I can easily move and see things. The other zoom was uh, pretty intense. I want to go down there and see what this little bear thing is real quick because it just looks cool. It looks aggressive, too, on our map, but it looks cool. That is a whoa. A diophied prowler. He's jumping at me. Cool. Okay. So, um, yeah. So we'll see how Optifine works. Maybe it'll help with those lag spikes that we're having. I don't know. <clears throat> it seems to be okay. I'm not using any... Well, there was a lag spike, so we'll see. Um, I'm not using any shaders, so we don't have to worry about, um, you know, the sky and all that stuff not looking correct because... Generally, Optifine with shaders messes with other dimensions. There's no shaders, just Optifine itself. I didn't even change any of the presets in Optifine. I just left it as is, so we'll see, you know, how it works. Um, but we just got an achievement for the Wizard's Tower, which is a blinding dungeon. Now, can we actually access this thing? I'd like to find the front door, if possible. Though it kind of looks like the door might be buried in this dirt here, so we're going to have to jump through this fenced opening. To get into it? Yes? No? Um, what if I break you? I know, the tool doesn't work here. I can't do that here right now. Okay. How do I, how do I get in? Like, if I go here and then we crouch, can I walk in? No. Okay. Can I not access this yet? Am I not at the appropriate level? For, I did a little bit of reading about this um, mod, and from what I understand, there are dungeons underground that we can access. Um, and there might be actually, uh, what's the key? That's not the key, that's for my experience. Uh, nope, L, there we go. Um, is there a blue skies? Oh look, here's Aquamire. Find a strange frozen biome. Oh yeah, we were looking for that earlier. Um, bum, 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 bum. Blue skies, similar to Twilight Forest. Do you have a achievement system that tells me how to do everything? You do have an achievement system. Okay. Enter a blinding dungeon, obtain a key from a blinding dungeon. This is the Everdawn. Okay. So mine moonstone or to get moonstone shards. Okay. So it kind of looks like we should be able to get into this. It doesn't say anything. The keys come from the dun the blinding dungeon. It's just how do we get in? Like this looks like the entrance. That's potentially let's grab my shovel. You know. I can't do that here right now. Okay, because it's attached to the building. Um, so I kind of don't want to have to cheese it, but we might have to fly in through one of those doors here or something to like get in here. But I don't know if we can. Maybe because maybe we're in elytra flight mode, so maybe we can like. 
Oh, wait, we can land here. How about that? There we go. All right, we're in. I want to go to the bottom, though. We want to do this, you know, legitimately instead of... I want to see, is there an entrance all the way down here at the bottom, too? Oh, wait, what? Was this here the whole time? Oh, this is just right above? Oh, <laughs> found the entrance, guys. Uh, okay. Anyway. I did not talk to you. Um, yeah. All right, so let's see. We have just some regular bookshelves. So these look cool. I kind of like the look, mm, but we're going to want to swap out with like different kind of bookshelves eventually in our base if we decide to, you know, do any apotheosis, apotheosis thing, apotheosing. And I probably can't break these anyway until I, you know, defeat the boss or figure out what the heck to do in this place. It doesn't look like there's anything like super hidden or super secret inside of this. At least not as of yet. Maybe a hidden chest? No. Chest. No. Hidden chest. Hidden chest. Absolutely nothing in here. Okay. Continuing. <clears throat> what about this side? Ah, there's a witch. Hello, witch. I'm not bothering you. Don't bother me. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? I was going to let you live, but you didn't want to play nice. I didn't do anything to you. What do you got? Instant health, splash potion of poison, and then just some randomly planted stuff. I knew the witch was going to throw something at me. Okay, I didn't believe that the witch was going to be kind to me the whole time. Oh, hello. Hello. Me and the cat, we're having a party. Yeah, dancing cat, dancing Andrada. Dancing cat, dancing the Andrada. Dancing cat, dancing the Andrada. That's my song. Wish I could help you, cat, but I can't. I can't get rid of the carpet, and I feel like you're stuck on the carpet. Ah, we got a key, and we got a pyrope gemstone. We also got a lot of stuff from that witch. Ah, gunpowder. I do want gunpowder. That's good stuff right there. Uh, what we get leather from? Oh, that one dude that we killed. Still can't do that. And that's where I already explored. Okay. Continuing up the stairs. Nothing. Nothing. Something. Ah, we got pillagers. You vindicators. I want to cheese my honing right now. Look, see? <laughs> that is a great way to cheese that. Um, we got a trapped, a couple trapped villagers. Let's see, we have, look at that, 15 emeralds from that. That's why I want to get a Vindicator spawner. Pyrope chest, chest plate, that thing, that thing. Can I jump over this? Like if I land? I want to talk to these guys, but I can't do anything with them yet. But if I go, uh, if I do this, am I going to be able to get back? Hello, Mickey. Um, what if I put my star emitter down? Will you turn into a stargazer? No, and it disappeared. I should have known. It's the same mechanic in Twilight Forest. I think I just lost my star emitter. Well, that was an absolute mistake. Okie dokie. I messed that up, eh, Aaron? All right, let's go. Let's go. What do we got? Binding, blinding keystone. Okay, I got a key. Do I need four keys, though? Oh, hey, I got my star emitter back. You need four dungeon keys to enter. The gatekeeper is now selling blinding keys. Oh. Well, Mr. Gatekeeper... Uh, let's go ahead and bookmark this. If the gatekeeper, this is the blinding dungeon. If our gatekeeper friend back at the beginning of the portal is going to sell the keys, why would I go hunting for the keys? Especially since, you know, we had a hard enough time finding this place 
in the first place. We had to do quite a bit of exploration. Why don't I just go home, uh, give myself some experience. We'll go home. I guess I didn't need to go home necessarily. We could have went to the Everbright. We're going to break this and place it back down as Everbright Portal. Okay. And where are you at, Gatekeeper? You were here before, right? This is the Gatekeeper I talked to previous. Let's take a nap real quick and see if he is around here. Okay, hopefully he didn't fall off the edge. I don't want to have to go hunting for a new gatekeeper just because this guy decided to derp it up and fly off the edge. It's kind of sort of seeming that way though, isn't it? We're not we're not seeing the gatekeeper anywhere. Yeah, that Optifine did not help those lag spikes. Just saying. <clears throat> Mr. Gatekeeper, hello. Are you here? Your house is here, but where are you? All right, well, let me, uh, I guess let me fly around and find another gatekeeper so we can see what he wants to trade for and see maybe, uh, maybe we can buy these things. Otherwise, you know, it might take items from the mod, like, I don't know, like the, uh, potions or something. I don't, I don't know. I just made that up. It looks like there's another one over yonder this direction above our Guyana shield. So we'll just, uh, you know, I'll head that way and we'll come back when I, uh, get over there, man, this biome is just so cool. All right. So we found Mr. Gatekeeper. Please don't not get yourself killed, please. I would not be very happy. Yeah. Those lag spikes are driving me nuts. Uh, Mr. Gatekeeper, you for a book and an emerald, you'll give me a key. Psh, we can we can handle that book. Emerald. Easy peasy. Get over here, sir. Give me a key. Give me a key. I need four keys. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. What kind of portal do you have in your home? Because we do still need to find the other portal. Um... We have the other portal by our, our home, though, don't we? At the gatekeeper, that's by home. Come on. Come on. Ah, but it is here. So we could. Now, someone said put uh, Silk Touch on your sword. I'm not entirely sure you can put Silk Touch on your sword. It's not in the... Uh, it's not listed in JEI that I can. I'll try it later and see if we can't get a sword with Silk Touch on it. I don't think that that's a possibility. Wow, 40 of those seeds from killing three of those guys. That's ridiculous. Um, so I guess since we're here, let's grab a Waystone. And we're going to... Yeah, this is the other one, right? This is the Ever Dawn portal. And we can just go ahead and light this now since it's here, but we're not gonna go into it. We're exploring the ever bright at the moment, but now we have the portal and we can just teleport straight to it whenever we need to. So let's go back in here and then I'm going to fly over to our uh, blinding dungeon that we had located. Thank goodness for the gatekeeper being able to sell us those, but I'm heading this way to the blinding dungeon. So yeah, we'll be right back again. Okay, and we have pretty much touched down at our destination. So let's go pop back up here and let's see what happens. I have no idea what to expect from this. I have no idea if we're kitted out properly. Maybe, maybe some like better food would be a good idea. Like, I don't know. Um, we just got bread really pork chops. I have regular pork chops. Um, cooked 
throw some cooked cod in our backpack, some cooked chicken, cooked common meat. That sounds yummy. Uh, not pickup, but cod, chicken, and common meat. That sounds you know, absolutely yummy. Uh, the cod we have more of. Let's kind of do something like this, and we can put the bucket up here. Bam. We'll just have the bottom be all of our foods. Yeah. Does that look good? I think so, maybe. Oh, I never told it it could eat the golden apple either. All right. Let's see what happens. We're going to take our uh, blinding dungeon keys, and you need four keys to enter. I, I have four. I do. Do I need to have all four of them, like... Excuse me. Okay, you let me buy the keys. Now what? Obtain a cherry tree sapling. Pretty in pink. Make a cherry pie. Punch any everbright log. Kill the summoner. Um, okay. Do I need to like... Go in the slot, please. All right, let me see. What, what do we got to do here? Yeah, I'm really not sure what to do here. Um, reading through the book, this says that, uh, you know, the Everbright has the Summoner and the Everdawn has the Alchemist. The two can be visited by bringing four blinding dungeon keys to the keystone at the top floor of their respective dungeon. These are blinding dungeon keys, and it doesn't work. You need four dungeon keys to enter. I don't... I don't understand what the issue is here. Um, and the game even, I mean, it literally told me that I was able to buy these from the gatekeeper. So I don't, I don't understand. Uh, key, no. And there's not really much else in the book that tells us too much about, um, you know, what we can do. Uh, the star emitter can put the astrolabe. Oh, that allows you to teleport to the star emitter, which is kind of cool. But yeah, there's not really much, uh, you know, much, much, much ado about what to do here. Like I'm trying every key, maybe because the one that we got from here had NBT data on it. Maybe I don't really understand. I don't know what to do about this situation here because it is not working at all. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know in the comments because this is a little bit annoying. But I guess in the interim, because we can't progress in this dungeon, there's there's more dungeons that are found in this dimension. Um, there's, a, I believe, a poison, a poison dungeon and a nature dungeon. I don't know if, you know, which ones. I think the nature dungeons in the Ever Bright and the poison one is in Ever Dawn. Um, Probably shouldn't have had the golden apples first now, since I'm not fighting them. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I can do about this situation because, uh, well, the keys aren't working. Somebody let me know in the comments what's going on with that, please, if you would. Uh, so instead, we're just going to go to the Everdon. I guess we'll go check that out and see what, what's going on in the Everdon. Um, you are supposed to go there. You can go there. You go there. And I guess I'll, I mean, I'll keep these keys on me. But I just, I don't know. They're not working. Not working for us. Don't know what's up with that. So let's go into the Everdon and see what's inside of here and what this looks like. And, you know, what kind of cool stuff we can find here. So we got Enter Dawn, Everdon, collect four dungeon keys. See, look, we just... I don't understand. Collect four dungeon keys. We did this. Yes. And then the next step is kill the summoner. And then the ever dawn is enter. Collect four dungeon keys. And this is kill the alchemist. Which is the exact same quest, essentially. Let's go ahead and fly around and see. I do not like this fog that's going on. And since this dimension is constantly... At this time of day, this fog is not going to go anywhere. What are you guys? A shade monitor. 
Aggressive, not aggressive? No. My dad used to have a monitor when I was a kid. Big lizard like that. It was massive. And it would always escape and we'd have to stuff the door with like towels because that thing was like, it would come at you, man. What are you? Dr. Bob the Lazy. Oh, you gotta be from Apotheosis. Wow, you don't, this does no damage. This is doing no damage in this dimension and my uh, bow will definitely not work. Luckily, I can just sit here and, you know, spam him. <clears throat> and what we could do even is, uh, oh geez, Louise. Dr. Bob, you hit hard. What the heck? I had to keep him out of range, I guess. I was trying to tramp him in a in a hole so that he couldn't get out, you know. Make him fall in or something. Can't get get in your hole, Bob. There. Nope. Okay. Well, whatever. Bob. Bob's your uncle. Stay there. Yeah, sucker. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Huh? Now you can't get to me. I'm cheesing you. And I'm just going to stand here and spam click until Dr. Bob the Lazy is done for. But yeah, I think this is an apotheosis mob. We heard the uh, lightning strike. And then we found this dude. This is our first apotheosis boss that we have come across, actually. But uh, since our sword doesn't work in this dimension it is doing way less damage than it should to Dr. Bob. So it's taking just a little bit longer than expected to kill this guy, but it's okay. We'll get him, especially since we're taking no damage. That slowness on here with the icy thorns is absolutely worth having. Absolutely. All right, he wasn't so strong. And again, yes, an apotheotic boss. So what do we get from this guy? Uh, we got Bob's Reinforced Hellborn Brigandine, Uncommon, Protection 6 and Unbreaking 6. And then we got Netherite Leggings, which is just standard Netherite Leggings. Cool. I don't know if we needed any, like, his affixes weren't super duper, you know, cool or anything. It was Uncommon there for Dr. Bob, but Blaze Buds. Let's see what we can find in here, okay? Um, well, this dimension is much bigger than the other one, isn't it? Or well, at least more verticality. But again, this fog makes it really difficult to, uh, spot things as we're flying around. We're probably not intended to be flying around, to be honest with you. We're probably supposed to be on the ground. I know that they, uh, you know, the mod authors really want people to experience the mod as intended which is why they make it so that tools and stuff from outside of the mod don't work in it as well at least they're nerfed but at this point i kind of just want to see you know what it has to offer offer us looks like something is here nope it's just this crystally stuff what is this raw moonstone You can make a moonstone shield. That's cool. Don't I need like a... Uh, isn't there a need for a spear in this? Have we run across anything? I really need to get that cobweb. Yes, uh, I know I missed a cobweb in that village that we had explored the other day. Or that uh, tower, that village or the pillager tower. There was a cobweb in a chest and I missed it. I can't find it again. I can't find it on my map. I don't know which structure it was that I went to and yeah. Oh. So we missed out on that for sure. That was our one cobweb that we needed to. Yeah, there's less ocean in this dimension though. That's for sure. All right. This is enough uh, you can making you guys watch the fog. I will come back when I find the blinding dungeon for this. I want to see if these keys, maybe, maybe these keys have to be used in this dungeon. I'm not sure. So I will be back in a minute.
All right, I have been flying around for absolutely ever now. Um, check, you know, all of that out. Like, granted, yes, I only have eight chunk render distance and everything. There could be a dungeon in there, but I'm tired of flying around looking for these. I've almost gone through all my fireworks and everything. I am moving on for the moment. We are going to find a way to get ourselves a cobweb, okay? I'm tired of all of this. I that's a weird sound. What is going on? Uh what is this? What is what is hap what what is happening here? Is this an opt optifine bug? Like, um, excuse me. Those are these are all different trees. What happened to my base? What's going on here? What in the world? I I don't know. We're we're having issues apparently. Jeez Louise. And our base is complete. Look at our trees. We had beautiful trees out here. Are these just dead because it's like summer or something? Or like did they change the textures? Or are the textures just showing weird because of Optifine? I, Optifine did not help this episode, so it will be gone most likely next episode because that's weird. I don't like that. That's triggering me. Um, anyway, I want to find a cobweb. We need a cobweb. Where the heck was that dungeon that I uh, was look went to the other episode? Is this it? Is this where I was? I think it might have been. I I'm pretty sure, didn't I? I had I went north. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here. I'll be right back. Let's go here and see if we can't find this cobweb that I missed. Okay, we are back. I think this is where I was. I mean, I, I've looted these chests before, and I think it was like down on one of these levels. I don't need Voker. Great. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Like, it was one of these levels. These One of these chests had it. Oh, my goodness. These guys are... I'm actually taking damage. There's so many enemies in here. My goodness, what is going on? Oh, where the heck did you all come from? It's like the whole base here just came after me. I'm going to have so much loot in my inventory. There's so much going on, I can't even see. There's an evoker somewhere, even. Look at all that. Look, from that, I got 64 emeralds. <laughs> okay. I think we need to go up a little. Is this where it was? No. Maybe the next floor? Excuse me, sir. Was it you? Yes. Look, there it is. The cobweb that we needed. I love how I'm getting attacked, and I just I don't even care. Um, all these extra arrows can go away. Scaffolding, don't really need that. Vindicator axes. We got a stack and a half of emeralds almost. Okay, finally, let's go home, all right? We finally have what we need to make this nature's compass that has been on my to-do list for forever. And with this, we can now actually get creative flight. So, compass, just need to get a compass. Bam, go in there, explorer's compass. Finally, we got it. So, just like the nature's compass, yeah, that bothers me. I'm gonna look this way. Um, we can search for structures. So if we search for, say, temple, like what we need for, like, villager temple, um, there's temples, I think, like, desert pyramids is what they're called even though they're not really pyramid they're like they're the temple things but that's the pyramid um if we look for a pyramid there's a desert pyramid jungle pyramid and then is there like a village pyramid it said village pyramids but i don't see that anyway what we can do is search for blue skies and we can search search by source Maybe, maybe hype, please. Yes, 
Ever Bright Blinding Dungeon, Ever Dawn Blinding Dungeon. So we can search by uh, blue skies. And if we search by source, interesting that we can't. Is it, does it need to be capitalized? Huh. Uh, the search by source is not working. But anyway, Blinding Dungeon. We can find the Ever Bright and Ever Dawn Blinding Dungeon. So if I want to find this and I uh, give us a little bit of experience and we teleport to our Ever Dawn portal, didn't even need the experience. And we come in here, we should be able to find the dungeon. I may have to search again. Uh, Ever Dawn. There we go. So we have one 1400 blocks this direction. So what that means for us is that next episode, we are going to try and do this blinding dungeon with these keys that we have. And hopefully that works. I don't know. I, I don't know what why it wasn't working in the Ever Bright, but maybe it'll work in the Ever Dawn. It didn't give me the quest until I actually re-entered the portal. So maybe that's what the issue is. Oh, I got a uh, Ars Ecclesia from, for fighting a fire dragon. Um... So maybe the keys really weren't active until I re-entered the portal, but I did enter the portal in the other one, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're actually going to put these guys, we'll put them in our backpack. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, I know we didn't get a whole lot done because it was exploring and things not working, but hey, trial and error, that's how we learn, that's, that's how we do things, so... Anyway, if you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. It really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.